Welcome back. This is our third video for February's um, First Eucharist class. So right now we're going to be talking about finding what's special about yourself that you can give back to your church or your school or your community or your team um, that not everybody else can. And so because you are uniquely you, God created you to be exactly the way you are with your personality and your strengths and your preferences and your likes and dislikes and your talents and skills. And the job that you have is to figure out what those talents and skills are that make you special. And once you figure out what those are, how you can use them. Um, so every single person has at least one thing that's special that they can contribute. Uh, and it doesn't have to be something hugely dramatic and crazy. Not everybody is going to change the entire world. Not everybody is going to be um, like a famous activist like Martin Luther King Jr. Not everybody is going to be um, a person who is known and affected affects thousands of people like the Pope. Um, well, millions, billions of people, I guess, in that case. Um, not everybody is going to be a priest or a nun or a teacher. Um, but all you have to do is change the world for the better, even for one person. Like, if you're walking down the street and you see someone that looks sad and you smile at them and say, good morning, you know, I hope you're having a good day, like, that by itself, just reaching out, being brave, being kind, can brighten their day. And that makes a huge difference for that person. And that's important. It didn't affect thousands of people, but it doesn't make it any less important. Um, Jesus said that anytime that we um, shelter the homeless or feed the hungry or give water to the thirsty, anytime that we visit the sick, Anytime that we take care of somebody else or that we try to help somebody else or make somebody else happy or spend time with someone else, it's like we're doing that for him. So even if you only affect one person in your whole life, that is still a huge deal to Jesus. So the ways that you can do that at your age are still so broad. There's so many ways that you can impact others. Um, maybe you're somebody who's really funny and you can make people laugh and smile. Maybe you're someone who's really observant. You can tell when someone is sad or upset or not feeling well or having a bad day and you reach out to them and say, you know, hey, are you okay? Like, can I do anything for you? You need a hug? Like, you want to talk? Um, and you notice that they might need help and you go out of their out of your way to provide that help for them. Maybe you're somebody who is very smart and you are able to um, tutor your classmates. You're able to help them when they get stuck. Um, not cheating, not on tests, <laughs> but you can help them that way using your skills and your talents in the classroom. Maybe you're really, really good at sports and you can help teach other kids how to get better. Um, you can be a really great teammate and build the people up and, and, you know, be everybody's cheerleader for lack of better words, but, you know, to be, pump everybody up and get excited and cheer for everybody. Um, maybe you're somebody who's super kind. You're that person who, you know, if somebody drops their books in the hallway, you help them pick them up. Maybe you're the person who, um, you know, you see somebody that, seems like they need help with something, somebody's having a hard time getting a door open, um, things like that, and you go help them. Maybe you're somebody who's very brave and courageous. Maybe you're the person that like stands up to bullies. Maybe you're the person who um, is friends with the kid that is sitting by themselves and isn't afraid to go over and introduce yourself and sit with them. Those are all special personality traits that people have, and not every person has all of them. Um, so you need to figure out what is special about your personality and what you can do with that um, to help make a difference in other people's lives. So because we are all unique, 
Um, and because the gifts that we get in the Eucharist and the Mass are what make us strong enough to use those gifts for the good, you all got an activity which is called um, the Gifts of the Mass Basket Activity that looks like this. Ooh, upside down. <laughs> so there's a front of the basket and a back of the basket. So what you need to do is cut out both parts of the basket and then you will put them together like this where the, um, the printed side is out on both sides and you can either tape them along the edges or like I've done, um, you can staple them like a couple different spots down around the basket. You've also gotten um, four of these um, circles here and they have parts of the mass on the front so we have the wine and bread that becomes the body and blood and each of them have something different so there's one that says I can share my talents so on the back I want you to write down what your talents are what is special about you so like for me I wrote that I'm empathetic which means that I can feel like how other people might feel I'm good at listening to others comforting other people um, and showing um, the ways that I love other people another one says I can share my time like we said, at any age, time is something that you can always give. So how can you share your time? Um, for me, I wrote, I visit with elderly family members, I volunteer, I help my neighbors, I babysit for my friends for free when they need a babysitter. Another one says, I can share what I have. So what do you have that you could probably go without that you could give to other people? So I donate my clothes. I cook for my friends and family whenever somebody is sick or goes to the doc or has surgery or has a baby or has um, a funeral, I cook for them. Um, we donate toys, we donate money to church. And then the last one says, I can share kindness. So what ways can you share kindness? So for me, I can compliment a stranger. I can use my manners with everybody, say please and thank you, especially like going out to eat or in the store to like anybody that works there um, and being patient with other people. So once you have your gifts of the mass filled out, you can put them in your basket. So in the directions you have to leave like the top is the only part that you don't really staple. And you can put the gifts of the mass right into your basket here. Whoop, mine fell down. <laughs> but you can have the gifts of the mass here in your basket. And that is the gifts of the mass basket activity that came. So talk to your family about it, share your answers with your family, um, ask your siblings, your parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, um, and see what their answers might be. What's the same, what's different, um, see if they have any ideas. Um, so the main takeaway that I want you to leave this class with is that Jesus promised to always be with us. Um, and the Eucharist is how that promise is fulfilled. Jesus is always with us in the Eucharist. And when we partake of the Eucharist, when we consume the Eucharist, the body of Christ, um, we keep bringing him into our bodies. We keep bringing him into our lives. And... God has a purpose for everything. He has a purpose for each one of us. He has a purpose for our lives. Um, and the Eucharist gives us strength to accept God's plan and know that even if we don't understand it or even if at the time we don't like it, we're still able to say, you know, God's will is more important than my will. Like in the Our Father prayer that we say all the time, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. So not my will, but God's will. Um, and then it also gives us the strength to see what we have to do, the wisdom to see what we have to do. What is our role? What part do we play in the plan that God has for us? What do we need to be doing? Um, so it helps us to see like what is right and what is wrong. It helps us to see what we're being called for, the kind of person that we're supposed to be. Um, so... Go forward from your first Eucharist, which we'll be going through in just a couple of months. Um, and from that point on, make sure that you're living every day with the knowledge that you carry Jesus inside of you. Um, and try to live your life in a way that he would really be proud of.
Um, our last video is going to be going over um, the parts of the Eucharist and the parts of the church um, because we are going to be meeting up in, for, in March for our banner activity in church search. You'll be making your banners um, for your first communion. And then we are also going to be doing a scavenger hunt, which is what the church search is, um, to find all the different parts of the church. Um, so we are going to go over um, definitions for that with pictures, and that will be the final video for February 1st Eucharist.